What is going on guys? About a week ago, we got a post on the support.google.com website announcing that Chrome OS version 123 was now being rolled out to the stable channel. Of course, with all these updates, it does take time for it to hit your particular device. And after checking almost every day since then, it has finally arrived on my Asus Chromebook, which I have over here. So in this video, we're going to grab that Chromebook and we're going to look at these new features to Chrome OS. And these features seem to be largely centering around a little bit of additional customization. So if we jump into our settings and we're going to come down here to device and then keyboard. And you should see right here, customize keyboard keys. And if you click on that, you can go in here and you can actually change what each of these keys does. I must admit, I don't know why you would want your launcher to be something else, but hey, maybe you want it to be the assistant, right? So now whenever you press that, that's gonna fire up Google Assistant right there. I mean, that's potentially kind of cool, although, what would you be using for your launcher? I guess you'd have to come down here and just click it manually, but whatever, you can customize that to your heart's content, make it be whatever you want. But you also can change these guys down here, which actually give you shortcuts. So as you know, on a Chrome OS keyboard, there's probably not going to be a delete key, but you can do launcher plus backspace. Maybe you don't like that though. Maybe you want to do alt and backspace. Maybe you want to do alt and arrow down for page down instead of using that launcher key. And you can also add shortcuts for F11 and F12. I do wish that it was like fully customizable instead of just sort of presets, but it's definitely better than nothing. And if we go back, and now we're gonna go into mouse. Now, I don't think you'll see mouse if you don't have an external mouse actually plugged in, but if you do, you'll see that. And then under this, you can see customize mouse buttons. And all you have to do is press any key on your keyboard that isn't the left or right mouse button, and it's going to populate them. And from there, you can tell it exactly what you want each key to do. So these are my side buttons, so they're going to need to be previous page and next page. I think it actually needs to be that way. Nope, I have that backwards. It needs to be this way. Maybe you're using one of those mice that have a whole bunch of different buttons. You could go in and populate all of those buttons and then tell it exactly what you want each of those keys to do. And you can also name them as well, which I think is pretty useful. Another one that I can't actually demo for you involves mobile data. Apparently, if you go into your cellular network, so this is for Chrome OS devices that are actually connected to a cellular network, you can now create a hotspot from your Chromebook. Now this next one, I'm not actually seeing on my device for some reason. They say you can go to apps and then manage your apps and there should be a way to change each application's language. But when I go into this, I'm not seeing any place to do this. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. It's listed in the changes, but I don't personally see it. And last but not least, if we go into accessibility and we're looking for text to speech and we're gonna jump into select to speech settings, they have now added a whole bunch of natural sounding voices that work offline. Now, once again, I'm only seeing this saying that it works when it's online. Again, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Maybe there's like another subsequent update that's gonna bring the rest of this to my device. But we do have a whole bunch of natural voices which sound a lot better that are gonna be workable, that are gonna be usable offline. I'll give you an example. So this is the offline currently version. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. And then this is the natural version. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. If you've been watching those Google Pixel commercials where the Pixel phone is talking to the uh, iPhone, I believe that's the same voice that they are using in those commercials. I do also want to show you guys a quick glimpse at some features that aren't here today but are still apparently coming quite soon. If we jump over to this article on Chrome Unbox, they have this exclusive Google demos, the new Chromebook Plus AI features for us. If you're unaware, if you have bought recently a Chromebook that says Chromebook Plus on it, or you have an older Chromebook that meets the minimum spec requirements, it can basically update itself and become a Chromebook Plus, you are in line to get some pretty nifty AI features. This was announced all the way back in October, but unfortunately we are still waiting on these features. But like I said, headline right there, Google did demo these things for Chromebook 
Unboxed or Chrome Unboxed is the actual name of the website. So let's take a look at a couple of these videos here real quick. We're going to open it up actually on YouTube because it looks a lot better. This first one is called Help Me Write. So basically what you have here is the ability to click in a text field and you can have this little box that pops up. So he's writing a review of this laptop. So instead of just writing it themselves, they're typing in, write a product review that highlights how to, basically they're, they're telling it like what they want it to write. And then when they click on the send button, it's going to do that for them. I don't know why this is playing in such slow motion, but it's going to give them a few different options for what they could write. So rather than writing it yourself, you give it a brief outline and it's going to write that stuff for you. This next one is AI video background. So if you're doing a video call, you've got that little pop-up down there and you can use a create with AI button. And this is very similar to the AI wallpaper maker in Pixel devices. And we're actually going to look at that almost exact feature again on this device here in just a second or on one of these demos where you're going to basically have it create for you a background like they just chose a distressed high tea cafe and that creates it for them and now that is their backdrop for their video call it's a little bit silly but kind of cool and now we have chromebook plus ai wallpapers and it's very very similar to what we just saw and very similar to what we have on pixel devices you're going to use sort of these prompts and categories and at the end of it, it's going to generate a whole bunch of different wallpapers for you that you can then select and set as your wallpaper. I actually use this on my Pixel devices all the time. And my current wallpaper on my Pixel Fold was made by that exact application. I think that it looks quite nice. Let me lock it. I think that looks pretty cool. It's a pretty uh, nifty feature and it's coming to your Chromebook Plus devices hopefully very soon along with the other features that I just mentioned. I think there actually might have been some other ones as well that were mentioned way back in October, but those at least right now have been demoed for you. So guys, there you go. 123 is here. It's live. Those are the new features and a quick sneak peek at some new stuff coming down the line. Thanks for watching. I'll put a link to that Chrome Unbox video in the description down below. So go check that out and read the rest of their write-up. There's probably more details in there that I have glossed over. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.